Hey guys, it's been now. I just came out of the store, ready to start the third park part of the Croc 2 with some chocolate in my mouth. I like how there's a number on the card. Someone may want to decipher it. That's not the right way. It's this way. Oh, I believe you can go to the boss if you want. I'll see what you guys say. Birdie being stolen, then he must have taken it. <laughs> Who else? Gobbo's a village be sad. Gobbo's need Birdie back. He village mascot. And off we go. To another adventure. Come on, disc, you can do this. The disc didn't like this stage before, so. Anyway, you may think you need a rush, but really, he just kind of stands in front of you. So don't feel like you have to follow him directly, because he'll just be in front of you. The music's up there, though. The music knows what the mood is. Yeah, I don't know what's with the world. I like this bridge. I never use it ever again. Maybe going when I said, "Oh, this this log is annoying." I mean, seriously. But you know when I said um, that every stage has something different. You may be saying, "Oh, is that just the first one?" And every other stage will have a bird chase. It will have a mine stage. Maybe a mine stage, but it doesn't have the similar find the chest mechanic. Like every single stage in this game will do something different, and that's one thing I really love about it. Yeah. This is the bird stage, that was the treasure stage, that was the guy locked in the chest stage, the chuck the guy at thing stage, the boat race stage, they're, they're all the only of those stages. And that's one thing I really love about it, is that it really does have quite iconic stages. Because one thing with um, Mario 64 may I bring up, is that what is it, Die Die Docks and whatever the third one is. Whatever the third and the ninth worlds. I yeah, I can't really remember the names because they're very similar. I know someone's going to tell me off because they're not, but they kind of do have a similar look about them. I mean, you got to admit that. And while this does have the similar look, they this one does have the, the different mechanic, a different objective, and you're just thinking about the objective, so to speak. I'm going to be really angry when I find out that I've been missing all these crystals. Hopefully that don't track another one. Ah, uh, yeah, this is what I mean. When I said these boxes will be the bane of your existence, that's because of this section. Okay, it may look okay on paper, but jeez, if you're not using the tank controls, this becomes just really difficult. Where am I going that way? I'll just go this way. Yeah, this just becomes very difficult. Oh. Dang it. Uh, I'll jump it. Kill him. And I'm gonna want a blue one. Get that. That being said, I'm kind of afraid of it happening. Actually, can I do this? Sometimes you can actually really fluke your way back onto platforms. Because <laughs> this will just chuck us halfway. Yeah. Okay, it's all good. Um, considering I've still got to get two of the two more of the colored crystals, and um, I've only got 18 crystals left at this. Oh, for goodness sake! That's what I mean. I mean, this sec, this bit of jumping. I mean. If you're not standing still to turn to the next one, then how exactly will this work? I don't know. See, this one now requires the green one. And then it, it requires one in order to go into this. What's the point? But yeah, as you can see, now this one has a colored crystal in it, so this one's actually rather expensive considering you need a green. Oh, that's what I mean. Can we get it? Can you get it? Can you get it? Can you get it? Yeah! 
That's what I mean. I mean, like, they put that there. But yeah, this one, this one costs 110 crystals. For the green thing and the clockwork gobbler. How many have we got? Four. I bet the last one's like a good one right up. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember the last one's near the end. In fact, it is at the end. Anyway. So you think you're almost on the stage because you got 100 things. Well, you first got this bear. Yeah, ha ha ha. We did this again. But don't worry, considering it's the last stage of the... I forgot to set the timer. Oh well. Considering it's the last stage of the first world. And then you just kill him. The other thing is that also you can go behind that, grab that, and then you can have fun with more of this. <laughs> they go in diagonal. So basically just do a spin in the air. And you'll hopefully do you'll hopefully dodge them, but it's not. This one's actually rather rather easy. For the most part. Then you can't get back on. <laughs> they know exactly that the boxes are the difficult ones. Other than that, though, once you do that, then it's all good. So you're gone, and then you're out. Wait. Thank you, Brock. No problem. So anyway, we got the boss. Savina so the squid is attacking the jetty. She wants a ginger soda. Quick. Battle stations. I can't remember if you are actually, if you need items in these stages, in the boss stages. Because the boss stages in this game also have 100 crystals. I don't think you get golden gobbers or colored crystals. I can't remember, and I don't think you do. Yeah, so this is a boss stage. He may be going, oh, well, the boss is under the same caliber as the last game. Wait for them to attack, then get tired or confused, and then attack them. Actually, this game, the bosses are actually kind of cool. They all do different stuff. And they're all attacked differently, and they evolve a bit of strategy. And that's one thing I, I think makes this game quite a lot better. Not only is there a lot of variety between the stages, but also... Also, there's just, um... There's a variety between the bosses. I'm sure there may be a bit of... There, there may be less stages, so to speak. <laughs> Use this TNT to defeat Savina, and this is probably the most annoying bit. But anyway, there's Savina. I don't know where the... Other 50 thing goes on, but anyway, you 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 probably won't like the stage because you got pick. That is not how you do this, but yes, you are dealing with explosives. You can go over here and stuff that's not behind there. If you want it. Anyway, you got to pick this up. You can actually walk considerably faster with the crate. The box, anyway. You gotta jump on all these things, and you gotta try and. Stand on that one. You gotta try and stand on this one. And then you press X and then you throw that up. So yeah, the swimming, you just kinda swim only, you know. And now she'll chucks she'll start chucking stuff at you. Yeah, I know, right? Also don't jump into the water with the explosives box, because the explosive block box does not like Take that. And then just to really annoy you, for some odd reason, they become covered in boiling ink. Some of the things. So you can't go the easy way, which is that way. Someone's animation is a bit lacking in frames. Well, there's just some weird but yeah. It's actually kind of difficult to get onto this, but... 
But anyway, if you throw it the second time, then... Oh, no. And then you get 100 crystals. But you think the day is done? Oh, no. There's a second boss. Yeah, there's this... <laughs> For some odd reason, they throw a second boss straight away. So he's kidnapped the, the Einstein. Uh, one thing you may notice is that he's got an eye patch this time. Hmm, I wonder why, after taking one of the crystals from him at the end of the last game. Cannonboat Keith, I need you for an evil endeavor. I like his dialogue, he's like... And then he's also got skeleton dantinis. <laughs> Must find this little green troublemaker as we post the title picture from the last game. <laughs> so, yeah. So, for some reason, you get dumped into the next boss. I don't exactly know why. You get chucked to the next boss, but okay. I like these enemies because they just go. Also, they have the crosses for eyes. It's kind of cool. Also, they do the dry bones thing. Oh, there's also marks on the ground. I'm not entirely sure why, but other than that, yeah, it is a bit of a linear stage. Also, make sure you do that jump in order to get that. I actually like this next coming boss. It's actually very, a very fun boss. Yeah, you can always replay the bosses. You just go into the doors. You may be wondering where this boss is. If you know, if you just got dumped into it, don't worry. All right, I'll get you your little green tail tear away. And he's like, use the cannons on the jetty croc. <laughs> All right. So first thing, I'm gonna go in this kind of order. Basically what he does is that when you go over to one of these you just gotta hit that and then, ah, cannonball to the chest. The other thing is I think he tries to destroy all those darker platforms. See, yeah, he destroys the dark platforms so you gotta try and make your jumping good. And other than that, he fires rather quick. Very difficult, wasn't he? But anyway, yeah, you can fight this boss again just from there. What a big bully he is, Crocodile Ghost. He's Squammy P. He's strange but real nice guy. Again, he's strange but real nice guy. It's it's, it's an odd way of saying him. Saying him. Anyway, I'm gonna need to buy a bunch of stuff. Anyway, bosses are also a good way to get money if you don't want to do the boat game. Although the boat is a lot quicker. Now you may be wondering, so what is with this door here? Well. You need to collect all the gold, golden gobos in a world in order to access it. So let's go in. <laughs> this will be our, our last little section of the part. Anyway, I'm actually doing kind of kind of good job getting all the hundred crystals on the stage. Anyway, as a reward, you get a puzzle piece, jiggy. You get a jiggy. Yeah, I went there. Maybe we want to go to another cave stage. Actually, kind of. One thing I like is that now you don't have to lean to sides. For this. You'll just get all the crystals easily. Which is good because you don't really want to sit through this too much. Ah, oh, gosh. Now this is this is the tricky bit. You, you only need the key in order to beat the stage, but if you're gonna wanna get all the crystals, you need to pull off that jump. I'm not kidding. I think that's like the only way to get up here. To get a good nine more crystals. So in order to do that you need to rock that jump. 
I believe the key is down here, so you, can, so you gotta go down here. I, I actually honestly, unlike the previous game where I hadn't been there 100%, this one I have. Okay, and then there's just an enemy with a heart. Strange payoff. <laughs> yeah, so unlike the previous game where I hadn't actually legitimately beaten it 100%, this one I have. Although with a walkthrough, thank you Hyper Magazine, which I don't know if it exists anymore. Anyway, don't hop out here because that will chuck you back at the beginning of the stage. You see, the, um, the perspective doesn't entirely... That actually teleports you to a separate bit of the same map. Just saying. And yeah, once you break that box, you can't jump up there again, so you gotta make sure you get it. Alright, so I guess that just dumps you back at the front, which is good, but... Alright, let's go! I really needed to go around in these big, big 270 turns. 270 degree turns. Aya! And a soup! And a splat! So, anyway, yeah. Um, so, as a wrap of this first world, I think it's good. Because it, first of all, introduces the game while trying to introduce basic mechanics. But the problem about this is that every single stage does something different. And that kind of goes, oh, is, would you expect everything else? Or, I don't know. So, yeah. Anyway, 100 crystals. We managed to get 100 crystals in every stage, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, now we just go back up. Anyway, chocolate time. Yeah. That's my big concern with this, is to say it. It doesn't entirely set you off for the rest of the game. That being said though, it's quite simplistic. And it seems to work out exactly what you do know. Mostly. I'll save this one stage of the next world, I'll save that for last. got a jiggy and with that so we've got one of the puzzle pieces there's four in the game and you only need yeah so you don't get one you don't get two in a while you only get one but who cares <laughs> the Cossack gobos yeah so we instantly we instantly get warped to the Primitive Russians? <laughs> Moscow, Moscow, I don't know the freaking words. Anyway, any friend of pizza's a friend of Gobbo's. But they're friendly, so no Cold War jokes, okay? Seriously. Done. Okay, I'll see you kids next time. Where we'll explore. Oh, he's cold. He's cold blood, I see. We'll, let, we'll explore Russia, okay? See you kids then.